Hello and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing Moonlit Shore by Masam Khan who works as a junior digital analyst by day and illustrates at night. This book took two years of evenings and weekends to come to fruition and although he works with data and metrics all day his artwork is not linear or digitised. It's all hand drawn and it has a surreal whimsical feel to it. So the book itself is 24 centimetres square and hard backed with a gorgeous black and white cover that's really eye catching and gives a good indication of the artwork inside. On opening the book, the illustration from the cover is featured here in line art for you to colour. And then we have the book belongs to page. There is some text that runs throughout this book, but it's minimal and it doesn't intrude on the drawings too much. It says here, this colouring book is dedicated to all the restless minds who sometimes need to be alone with their thoughts. So Massam's style is very much centred in the dreamlike and it mostly features nighttime scenes of ocean landscapes, both above and below the waterline. Detail varies on each page, as does the mixture of double page spreads and standalone images. So here's the first page I coloured using Sakura Koi pens and a water brush and that's where we'll come on to the quality of the paper. It's bright white and very thick, so thick that you can use copious amounts of wet ink and water without it even shadowing on the reverse side. The surface feels very smooth with a light tooth for coloured pencils and as I say allows you to manipulate water-based pens with water which is always a plus point for me because some papers just don't let you shift that ink around. Here's another couple of pages that I've yet to do the backgrounds on. This next scene is a double page spread of a rocky beach with some driftwood and a roaring fire as the waves lap roughly at the shoreline. We now go underwater with a little more text setting the scene of moonbeams viewed from under the waves and the wonders which lie beneath. There are some jellyfish and a treasure chest alongside some broken pottery and coral plants. This one has loads of scope for an incredible background, I think. We have an anchor encrusted with barnacles and plant life and a happy little seal snorkeling amongst the seaweed. I absolutely adore this seahorse adorned in knight's jousting attire. And then we've got this rusty old diver's helmet lost to the ocean floor. This next spread is very abstract and features clouds and the moon mirrored as it would be on the calm surface of the sea. This one is really going to come into its own when it's coloured and that line where the sky meets the sea is defined. We have a sky full of shooting stars and some more text telling us that we're now moving into the wonders of the sky. The next series of double page spreads shows us all the constellations in our galaxy including observatories, and ships and cliff faces. Now this spread is going to look absolutely magical when it's coloured. It's a fun seaside pier with fireworks bursting overhead. Finally we come to what looks like either the moon or a god of the night ready for his slumber after a busy night. We've got a little note from Massam here saying that it's been a pleasure to take you through his voyage. There is a sequel planned to this book, it's called Moonlight Farm and it hopefully won't take another two years to complete, we will see. So the book itself is a little hard to find online at the moment because it had a limited print run but you can currently get it on Amazon UK for £8 and Waterstones for £9. I'll leave those links in the description. To order from outside the UK, I'd advise dropping Massam a line on his Instagram, which is up on the screen now, and he'll sort your copy out. So overall, this is a really unique book with some epic landscapes and really original ideas, so I can't wait for Massam's next book, it's just going to be awesome. If you enjoyed this review, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, and please make sure you're subscribed to my channel to always be the first to know when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.